Christmas, everybody, from myself and Woody. Now, you guys have been sending in questions, you've been dropping those comments, so here we have our Where Next Q&A tree. Here we go. Okay. What is the worst thing that's happened during filming? There's been many times where there, we've made mistakes and they've been bad, but we've also learned from those experiences. But I would have to say when we were filming in the snow, that was... Aww. That was awful, like that was, we were so cold, we kept tripping up because the snow was like a full like two feet high. Oh my, oh my, what? Look how cold my shoes are. Oh, that's brisk. <laughs> what the hell? It's a bit cold if you haven't noticed. <laughs> my fingerprint won't even register. <laughs> Oh, the batteries as well. Oh, the batteries. For some reason, the batteries just weren't working because of like, it must have been the cold. It was like minus two degrees mm -hmm. and we didn't realise that batteries don't work as well in the cold. So we just put these batteries in the GoPros and uh, they were just like, <laughs> nope. Yeah, mine's got zero bars. Oh, mine's got zero as well. Like, this could be a major issue. This could be a major flop. Mine is the cycle challenge. Oh yeah. So gosh. I was just there, pedaling along. Go! Hands down, this is one of the best ways to see Brighton. And the camera on my bike just snapped off. And I was just like, this is the worst thing. Because we didn't have any more, we couldn't attach it. So I was just there for the last quarter, just holding it, <laughs> pretending everything was fine. You okay, mate? I'm okay, but my entire contraption fell apart. If you could pick anywhere in the world to do an episode of Where Next, where would you go and why? I would go to Australia. Ooh, I've been to Australia under. once. So we went to Perth, which is Western Australia, but I'd really like to do like Sydney, you know, where the Opera House is, the big harbour, or Melbourne, mm -hmm. because Melbourne is where Trent lives. Hey. And we haven't seen Trent for like three or four years. I love Trent. Oh, man. Cha, 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 cha. Oh, look, there's a minister. Min ministry. Ministry. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine is a bit of a different direction, but I'd love to do Disneyland. Oh. Like any of the Disneylands. Maybe, mainly probably the Disney World is probably the best one to do it at, but just going around the theme parks, maybe get like having a character challenge, like trying to get all the characters. Like, Imagine that, that would be really good. That would yeah. be, oh. And I'm also very jealous because Woody went like two years ago. What is the weirdest thing we've learned during the process of making wire next? You know when, right, whenever, this is a weird thing that people do on wire next, where just on camera, we make such weird noises. We actually do. Like there's been a, there's been a, there's been loads of different ones. And it's, 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 it, why? <laughs> Who would be your dream guest star? It would be my childhood star, like favourite person ever, and that's Danny Armour, who played Tracy Beaker. That is a great one. Yeah, I feel like that she'd be a lot of fun. Danny would be fun, wouldn't she? Yeah. I love that, that's fantastic. Thank you. I would go for Stephen Mulhern. Yeah, oh my god, his personality would be mint. So like, obviously he's been on Saturday Night Takeaway in all those costumes. Um, I worked for him on In For A Penny. Mm -hmm. They do like all these challenges, kind of like what we do as well. Mm -hmm. So like, I just, I just see him on our show. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Does Woody wear makeup for filming? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was a time when Woody Basically, you're very, you're a very red man when you run, especially on his nose area. Like here, here. Um, and most here. of the time when we film, it's mainly with ladies who also wear makeup, so it's very prominent when Woody's not wearing makeup. So we thought just, you can tell, can't you? You can tell. But I'm stood next to you know Amber, Sam, and just 
red face Woody in the middle. Yeah. If you guys win, are you going to go for the hog? Yeah. If we guys win, are we going to go for the hog? We guys win. <laughs> <We're gonna go laughs> we guys. Can we do that? <laughs> Thanks for what? It wasn't a look, really, so no. you just have very minimal makeup, though. Dab, 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 dab. What's your favourite part of this routine? Hmm, probably the brushy. What's next? Ooh, the black one. What's the tactical Uh, eyeliner? Mm -mm. Eye... Scara? No. <laughs> Eye Scara. Brow... Thicker? <laughs> That's what it does. It does. You wear a very light foundation, a bit of concealer, eyebrow gel and then got powder all over the top. What's the funniest moment that has been caught on camera? Ooh! Apart yes. from people just tripping over. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh God! Oh! My favourite funniest moment was when we did um, When Next with the Stars and it was with Holly and Gia and I was with Holly. Oh, and yeah. she, obviously she's from like Britain's Got Talent and I think, I don't know if it was her year or a few years later or before, but there was this song called Hopeful. As I'm hopeful, hopeful, hopeful. <laughs> I know it ain't easy, but... There's Holly! <laughs> Do you know what? I think my funniest like moment is it's a collection of moments really. And it's from the same episode. And do you know what? I actually think that was potentially my favourite episode we've ever done. I I think we had just we just had the best time. I, I, I would probably agree with you to yeah, be fair. That was, was a very fun episode. It was a good episode. Mine has got to be just the general sass of Gia. Well, let me show you how empty the chat is. It's full of our pictures, but <laughs> there's none of them. I'm the one carrying this Ooh. No, I want Holly to win. Make me centre stage. It's just another Gia moment. When a girl says, do you want it good? Yes. What is the hardest part of filming Where Next? Well, it's not easy, is it? It's fun, but we spend like weeks planning one filming day, don't yeah. we? Because we have only use one filming day per episode. So we cram absolutely everything in, like, because obviously our schedules are manic and as well as the people who are actually doing it with us too, especially celebrity stars and stuff. So we have to just have one day of filming it. And that means like the beginning, the ending, it is insane. the actual main show as well, the photos, the landmark shots. We normally do get up this early because there is a lot to do in just one day. I'm excited, are you? Same. Let's go. How are you doing? How do I look? Welcome to Where Next. And we are in the city of Southampton. Let's meet the... I forgot there was a second line. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> yeah, that's great, that's nothing. So three words I'll use to describe myself is positive, um, funny. What was the last one I said? <laughs> Can I have the hair flip, or are we done with slow mos? You run, I'll get the Starbucks. It's a good idea. Cool. Hang on, what? Go! We got this, we got this, we got this. Go! <laughs> that was... I was not expecting that, I was not. <laughs> oh, there it is, I can see it! Smile! Where are we going next? What's that? Oh, they're close. <laughs> There's no, a challenge. What? Where next? I don't like running. Oh, what? There's one! <laughs> Hey, where, where, where? Huh? Let's see what we've got. I'm too unfit for this. <laughs> Listen, I'm with the main man Dave here today. Yeah, and this, and this is Naz. He's another main man. We're two main men. Two, two main men. Listen, if you're looking for a new stand-up comedy duo act, right. Naz and Dave. You know yeah, yeah. Naz, and Dave. Naz and Dave. <laughs> Naz and Dave. Naz and Dave. Okay. Check us out on social media, guys. Thank you for watching. And see you next time. Do we wave? <laughs> and that's a wrap. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh.
Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for spending the time of sending in all your lovely questions to us. Woody and I have had an absolute joy. It's been good, hasn't it? Yes, answering them for you. And we hope it's shed a bit more light on the show and also us as well. Guys, have an amazing Christmas. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.